we're ready. Hi, buddy. So we just got Murphy, who is my brother and his wife's dog, and he is so cute. He just chills there. He loves the car ride. He's just been laying down, taking naps. He did try to jump out the car, but I think he, he made up for it with his cuteness. <laughs> Don't worry, I caught him. <laughs> Who did we find? Did we find Kinley? Yeah. Murphy, what are you doing? Are you chewing a car? Bad boy, don't do it. Don't eat my pizza. There's nobody here. We're just out here trying on some different sunglasses. Ooh, I think this is a good look for me. I think I look like the Terminator. Yeah. Well, I didn't know where to put them. Maybe <laughs> circular lighting. Wow. Don't you say a word unless you say it with your body, baby. Put your hand. Target run was successful, but we had an impulsive moment, and we're gonna dye my hair bright pink tonight. Also, we're eating pizza. That didn't even happen at Target, that just happened. And cutlery red. Yeah, true. Okay, see you when my hair is being transformed. Okay, I'm gonna wet my hair in, this, in the shower real fast. I'm wearing a baggy t shirt. An old t-shirt, I mean. And then we're gonna dye it, so. Let's do this. Woo! How's it going back there? We already started? Yeah. It looks like you have fake streaky highlights. I mean, that's okay. That's better than nothing. <laughs> this isn't gonna go really well or really important. I would be so sad. I know. How's it going? Are you getting over each strand? Every inch of every strand? Yeah. Good thing we start at the tips. There's no way this is going to saturate your whole hair pink. What? <laughs> uh, I drove all the way to school from waking up from my nap because I woke up from my nap late and I was all stressed out and frazzled because I have to go to my class and give a speech because it's speech class and that's what I have to do and I was all freaked out and so I got in my car and I drove super fast over to the school and I got here and I get all the way to the class and it's empty so I ask myself maybe they're in the auditorium maybe there's something I don't know maybe they're giving their speeches in the library so I decide that that's the logical reason so I walk all the way up to the library walk to the auditorium I'm looking all around the school and I finally text somebody who's in that class and I find out that class has been canceled today I'm so pissed right now! Ah! So now I'm wondering, how did I not get the memo that class was canceled? And I'm kind of freaking out like, oh, maybe I'm not on the email list. Well, there's no emails, I checked. And I don't know how I could have heard it. Well, apparently the announcement that the class was going to be canceled was on the actual announcements in the morning at school, which I'm not there for because I have an off block. So I don't know how I would have known if somebody hadn't texted me and <sighs> I'm going back and I'm taking another nap and nobody can stop me, okay?